Pound for pound, who are some of the toughest wrestlers that could compete with you legitimately in and out of the ring? Pro wrestlers, uh, Brock Lesnar, obviously. Uh, he's a UFC champion, uh, NCAA champion. Uh, Sheldon Benjamin, Charlie Haas, they're all incredible amateur wrestlers, also incredible pro wrestlers. A guy like Chris Benoit, um, a very rare individual. Uh, he's the only guy that I've met that had matched my intensity. Um, I have never found another wrestler that has done this thing, not even Brock Lesnar. Uh, even though, Brock, don't get me wrong, Brock's a beast. But as far as staying on you and just pushing you to your beyond your limit, Chris Benoit had the capability of blowing anybody up. Uh, uh, he can make you look incredibly good or incredibly bad. It all depends on what kind of shape you're in. Uh, but Chris was a monster. He was an uh, intense wrestler in that ring. Eddie Guerrero in his prime before he got in that car accident. He's another one that was hugely intense. Uh, but uh, looking around, Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, one of the guys that so uh, he was not rated one of the greatest wrestlers, wrestlers of all time, and he should be because he was such a great ring general. His ability in the ring is in the top three. Um, but he was such a strong character outside the ring. Everybody thinks of him as, as Stone Cold Steve Austin, the dr beer drinker that flipped everybody off. But his wrestling was just as good, and nobody, nobody really contends that nobody nobody really cares about that they just liked the fact that he was uh, a rebel uh, but Stone Cold Steve Austin was so underrated uh, as a wrestler I have the utmost respect for him he taught me a lot about pro wrestling hey yo say hello to the bad guy and I'm smarting you up you want to check out title match wrestling all the cool cats are <laughs>